Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to take a look at the Lineage OS 15.1 first look on our Galaxy S20 Android 8.1.0 Oreo. Finally, we have Android 8.1 Oreo for our Galaxy Z. So, without wasting more time, let's go. So, guys, first of all, let's go to the settings into the system about phone. And as you can see, we are running Android 8.1.0 Oreo Lineage OS version 15.1 2 May build. This is yesterday's build. You can see Android version Oreo. You get this Oreo Easter egg and also this Octopus. Let's go back and tapping on Lineage OS version, we get the Lineage OS logo. And tapping on it, we get this Lineage OS like thing. You can see the Octopus with the Lineage OS logo. Now moving to the launcher, we get a Pixel launcher and we also have some of the settings. Into the more you can see allow edit if you want to edit it you can just allow edit and we have the home screen settings we have the draw settings also the icon settings like the notification dots and icon shape is also and present. guys as Oreo has adaptive UI you can see the drawer background quick setting background and also the setting background depends upon the wallpaper you set so if you set a lighter wallpaper as you can see I will set this as a light wallpaper. And now you can see we have a light background, we have a light status bar like the white color, also the settings are like settings background as well. Now let's take a look at some of the features of Lineage OS. Now into the battery you can see we get a whole large battery unlike the Nougat. We also get the last full charge and the screen usage which is the screen on time. We also get battery percentage enable. We can also use adaptive practice but it doesn't work and also the sleep timer up to 30 minutes. Then going into the display, we get adaptive brightness. It doesn't work. Live display doesn't work. We can choose style. I have set it to lavender. Let's choose it cyan. And you can see the style has changed. Also in the quick settings, you can see while the brightness ladder. Now into the rotation settings, you can enable it. And yeah, this is the rotation modes too available. Display size is seven way, small, smaller, smallest. And large larger largest we also get advanced uh, display oh sorry expanded desktop not advanced display we also have screen saver which is the normal stuff we have ambient display i don't know if it works or not and we have high touch sensitivity also going into security fingerprint doesn't work and we have privacy guard which is a great feature of lineage os and some more settings are here which is a doze mode and also in the system, we get status bar. You can customize some aspects, some icons, and the network traffic monitor. Also, the gestures. We only have one gesture, which is jump to camera. And in developer options, we get the advanced restart. Now, guys, as this is an unstable build, some things are broken. Some means like audio, fingerprint, and many, many other stuff like location and all the stuff. Like also, Bluetooth is totally removed. So no need of that to say. And yes, that's it for the video. If you guys really like this video, press the like button, subscribe button too because I will be bringing up the uh, video for the full stable build. And yes, many other videos on the Galaxy S8. So please subscribe. And yeah, see you in the next one guys. Bye bye.